in the last video we had placed this river and it looks great but what we didn't do at the end of the last video is turn the vegetation back on and the reason for that is because when you do turn the vegetation back on you have a problem you see the vegetation is actually growing in the river and you can't see the river for all the grass and everything so we have to resolve that now so how do we do that well luckily um, the river prof the river asset is compatible with Vegetation Studio Pro. You see you have a button here. So we've got the lower river highlighted. We click the Vegetation Studio Pro button here and we click Add Vegetation Biome Mask Area. And that will create a, a biome mask three meters either side of the um, of the river and it'll have a particular blend distance in this case one meter and a maximum resolution which is how closely it follows the uh, twists and turns of the river so you click the add the mask button and then you can see where this mask is uh, is placed and you can of course adjust all of the individual pieces on that if you want to but we now have a child of this called my mask and it looks familiar right so we don't currently have a mask a biome rather for the river space so we need to create one so we go to our vegetation studio pro we click and we create awesome technologies vegetation package pro uh, we are going to change the textures around the sides of the rivers as well so we're going to need a, a probably a four texture biome let's uh, let's do that and um, we need to first of all um, add our uh, well name it actually um, so let's call it a, a grasslands river okay so this is the one we're going to use on this bottom half here we go to vegetation studio or vegetation system pro we drag our new biome in oh i'm not going to select it i need to be over here on biomes and we drag our grasslands river biome into that area and we give it a name grasslands river and we select where we want this to be so let's select in this case river because this will be the most common uh, river biome okay now we go to edit biome and here we can select that biome okay and you see we have no plants or anything in here at the moment so what do we want to do with this well first of all we want to make sure that none of this planting appears in this space now why is it appearing there now well it's because we're currently using the um, the uh, persistent storage and that's been generated inside of this space so the first thing that we want to do here is generate the persistent storage for um, the uh, for the terrain so that we can get rid of all of this uh, vegetation in this space oops clicked off it um, go back to vegetation system pro scroll down we find the persistent storage is here so let's um, bake the vegetation I'm just wondering if we can get away with just clearing the instances there. Clear selected vegetation item. Uh, clear all items from the selected biome from storage. So let's do that. Clear all baked items. Let's clear all baked. No, 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 no. All items from the selected biome. I'm not sure what the difference between is all items and all baked items. Let's do baked and see what happens. Clear and enable runtime spawn. So we clear this that gets rid of everything 
but it has turned on runtime spawn so we don't actually see any difference or we won't see any difference when uh, when it's finished there we go except we no longer see them inside of this masked area because we're saying no don't spawn inside of this area now these other ones around here are being generated in real time they're no longer baked so we need to remember to go back in and bake those at a separate uh, uh, after we've um, finished um, adjusting this biome so that looks okay except the riverbank there doesn't really look correct we uh, we want to fix that first of all so we go into our biome which we already have selected and we go to the terrain textures read the textures from the terrain oh grass lowlands that's not what we want we want the grasslands river there we go read the textures from the terrain So these are the textures we have available to us in this terrain. We can, of course, add more textures into the terrain and then pull those in, but we'll just use what we already have for the time being. So if we take a look at this, we can see that it's pretty steep here going into the river. So we probably want some rock on this area here. Uh, let's just turn on the shaded wireframe view so we can see that a bit more clearly. It's pretty steep here, but it's nice and shallow over here. Um, so we want rock showing through here, we want this kind of muddy rocky stuff along the edges mixed in with the sand. So let's turn on the heat map. We have the rock selected right now, so rock is appearing on all of these pieces with this biome. We don't want that, we only want it on the steepest of pieces. So let's just bring that up a little bit more there we go see we're beginning to get the rock in on this really steep bit here but not down here so that looks reasonably good let's just add a key in here make it a bit more severe there okay that looks reasonable we're not looking outside of this area because it's only going to be applied in this clear area around the river Okay, so that looks okay so far. So let's go back to this one now. Uh, now we do want a little bit of this because it's around the river, but we, we do want lots of it on these steeper areas here. So let's uh, just bring this down a little bit. Let's get a little bit more in in these areas here. Um, perhaps bring that over, put an extra key in and put that up like that. There we go. So on this flattest of pieces here, we don't have any... Um, but we've got plenty in these areas. It might even be a bit strong. Let's, there we go. That's better. And then, we, of course, we want it to drop off on the really steep areas because we have um, we have the rock shiring through on on those really steep bits. All right. Let's just round that off a little. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then we don't want any sun, uh, any um, grass to appear at all. So let's just um, drop that down. So, no, I don't know actually. Let's have a little bit of grass around the uh, around the edges here. No, we don't want any grass at all, actually, thinking about it. And then sand, we do want the sand all the way across, apart from at the most steep areas. Because this is a river. So let's take this over here and add a key, a bit more there, like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like the look of that. Let's just check. Yep. It's looking good. All right. So let's generate that splat map. Now we need to um, provide uh, plants around here. And so what we need to do is we need to go to our vegetation system pro go to our edit biomes make sure we have our grasslands river selected which we do and now we're going to add 
some um, let's close this and use this one in fact now we're going to add some plants into this area here so let's go to our nature manufacturers go to the meadow environment there's some nice plants and things in there let's find some uh, some uh, ground coverage that's materials um, oh, the flowers are in the grasses section okay so here's the f well let's go for the grasses first actually um, all right, let's have a look at these grasses that one's a good one nice nice long grass Oh, that one's got uh, kind of bulrushes at the top. So 2.5 and 2.6, maybe 2.4, not 2.2. Two, two. Two, four, five, and 6. And 3. Three, four would look pretty good, I think. So let's go back to our vegetation, and we said four, five, and six. Oops, I need to lock this. Four, five, and six. Drag those onto the grass. Okay, we see it immediately spawns in there and we said um, let's just leave it at those three actually so now we need to um, fix this spawning because we've got it spawning in the river and we don't want it spawning in the river we want it spawning along the edges of the river so let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see this this is a good spot to 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 um to do this so we need to look at our spawning criteria we'll start with this grass here in fact let's turn the other two off so we can clearly see what we're doing we'll start with this grass here and we can see this is spawning up here and along here what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to increase the density of uh, of these. Make sure we get a lot more of them. You see, we're getting a lot more up here. Let's just zoom up there where we can see them a bit better. Because now I can see the changes that I'm making more easily. We can see plenty of effects here. So if we click on the edge include rules and then play with the setting here, we can control how far into this biome we can spawn these uh, grasses. We see we've still got them coming in. So let's reduce that to three. There we go, that's looking pretty good. We still have some just on the edges of the, the water there. So maybe make it 2.8. That's still a little high, maybe just two then. Um, looking good there. That looks okay. Let's just raise up a bit. Okay. And we're not getting it spawning on the steep pieces and the rocks. That's good. In fact, we should stop these from spawning on the rocks. Which is texture four. So we'll never have it spawn on the rocks now. Okay, so we're looking pretty good for that piece of grass. So we'll just drop down the uh, sample distance so we get a bit less of them spawning. Let's go and have a look over here where they were. Might be a little bit too sparse now. Maybe reduce that to one. Point one. There we go. That's more. That's better, rather. And I think we're probably good with the other settings. Just checking them over. 
And we can probably afford to increase the steepness a little there. Okay. Yep, that's looking good. We have a few dotting around up here now that we've increased the steepness. Okay. So our next prefab, grass prefab, we want to do the same thing. And there we have it. We're going to do the same thing now on the top river. So we create our mask and you can see it's pushing it all the way out here um, and we can go into the mask here and say okay just get rid of everything which is what we have and we have no places now where there is grass growing in the middle of the river uh, at the top here it's blending quite nicely I think we are good let's just look at the very top no grasses here but some on these ridges that looks good I like that okay so I believe we are now done so here we are in uh, our near final render and you can see that we've done a few more tweaks to this uh, this river bank here a bit more plants there uh, some grass at some sort of shallow areas further back but for the most part it's as we did in this video so there you have Vegetation Studio Pro, um, making it possible to have different types of planting in different areas. We've used it for the major planting around the scene here. We've used it for excluding the planting inside of the Warlock's home. We've used it for forests, and now we've used it for the river banks, where we also changed the texturing, which was uh, pretty useful. So um, we're really beginning to get there with this. We'll see you in the next video.